hello guys welcome back so in this part of the video i'm doing my spring skincare routine you guys have been asking me about my skin how i maintain this glowing healthy skin um i love a radiance I love hydration to my skin and I will also show you my nighttime routine in another video how I take care of my skin but this one is going to be my morning skincare and um, I will do a voiceover because I don't want it to be too long and then I will show you a walk-in of my skincare also I'm really excited for this so let's get into it I will be filming for TikTok and Instagram at the same time so please do bear with me, okay? This is my skin right now. We are about to get into it so that I can show you how to achieve glowing skin. Like this is no glow. Wait until my skincare is done. Welcome to my morning skincare for radiant and glowing skin. I always start with a wet face followed by a cleanser to decongest my pores and to get rid of impurities and skincare from the night before. I rinsed it off with a gentle face cloth. Snail Mucin Essence, I used this as a toner, great for hydration. This is the star of the show. This serum contains vitamin C and retinol, perfect for hyperpigmentation, radiance and brightness. Followed by my favourite eye cream for dark circles, I love this. <laughs> Hyaluronic oil for hydration and plumpness. I know you can see the glow ladies.
followed by Pro Collagen Marine Cream by Elemis. This cream is very nourishing, adds hydration to my skin. Ladies, take your time in the morning to massage your face. This helps with puffiness. <laughs> and then followed by my favorite lip mask by Tatcha. And and I added my lip oil by Dior. SPF today as I'm not leaving the house. Wind Flowers by Creed is the scent of today. It's feminine, perfect for spring. Good morning. I'm getting ready for the gym. It's been a week and a half since I went to the gym, since I had the cold. That flu, I'm convinced that was COVID, guys. I'm convinced that was COVID. So today, I'm just keeping it. Well, I always keep it very simple, to be honest with you. I wanted to tie my hair with, um, with a scarf just to protect the hair from creating, like, from humidity. But I didn't like how it looks. I still need to look like a baby gal <laughs> at the gym. <laughs> I do need to get some new gym kits, though. I feel like it just helps you to feel motivated. Um, I'm going to wear this because it keeps me warm. Um... I don't even know where this is from, it's very old. So this is what I'm wearing today. Um, and then my trainers, yeah. I feel good, I look good. Yeah, my skin is on a next level, babes. But yeah, let's go to the gym, have a quick workout. See you in a bit.
sorry i have been obsessed <laughs> with the the receipts the girls are literally my friends in my head i think i told you this last time so i had a really good morning went to the gym it's a new week your babes is feeling fabulous um literally like just i even cut some layers onto my hair can you see and uh, i think i did this part better than i did this side or maybe i over curled this side i don't know but i just wanted some layers i wanted to feel brand new so just quickly i want to show you some new products that i purchased why do i feel like i'm too high let me do like this this is more personal isn't it or my wonky yeah so i just want to show you i want to show you some bits and bobs that i got so girlies let's catch up so in terms of skincare my skin is at its best right now like last week sunday i did a a proper reset day where i took care of my skin i did some derma planning excuse me i did some um i did a facial i will do a video a thorough video to show you what i do sorry excuse the mess at the back <laughs> to get my skin looking like this i think for a while my skin was not at its best like i said to you the last few yeah the last month i was going through like a really a transition i'll call it transition i was going through a transition i was not myself i was going through a hard time and it really impacted on my skin and i feel like now that i am in my element again i feel better my skin has improved but there's also a product that i've been using for the past three days i've used it before and this is like my problem solving product when i know that my skin is dull my skin is just not doing what it's supposed to do i always reach for this product and i actually worked with this brand like i think three years ago and i love this particular product it's quite expensive i'm not gonna lie but it's so good um if you're experiencing dullness and you want to correct your skin in terms of hyperpigmentation you want to brighten your skin add radiance you need this i'll link it down in the description box down below so this is the strivectin super c retinol brighten and correct vitamin c serum it brightens firmly firm sorry visibly firm smooth and smooths lines so this is a really really good product it comes in a little bottle like this and the cut it, the color of it is orange like that so it's very um what's the word i'm looking for it's you know like vitamin c you can get like the actual pure dose i forgot what you call it and i think trilogy the brand used to do a vitamin c powder which is like a, a pure vitamin c which you add to liquid and then apply it to your skin that's another product that's that's another product that's really good this one is also amazing um and i think it contains like like pure vitamin c and it's vitamin c and retinol together vitamin c and retinol is a really good combination a lot of people don't talk about this i think instead of spending money on buying two separate and um, buying separately retinol and vitamin c why not just get it in one and this brightens your the hell out of your skin like it just gives you when i mean like brighten like radiance and um i've got some dark spots here which i'm you know applying this on as well so hopefully it's going to help me to remove that so i recently purchased this and i'm loving it and i also had to repurchase the laneige lip sleepy mask i bought one during the black friday because there's a babe on my tiktok she's a shoe designer and she like every time she makes like these really cute videos like skincare she she always has this and applies it and it just looks so cool like i love watching black girls in luxury and just beautiful black women like i love beautiful black women when i see beautiful black women i just look at them and i tell them that they're beautiful and like she inspired me to get this so i got this i think her name is daphne i think 
um she's a twin so i don't know which one is which <laughs> so this and i purchased this again because and yeah i purchased this again just because it's really good now you know that i'm a lip gloss girl right and it comes with like a little brush like that i'm a lip gloss girl i can do lipsticks but i have to put gloss on top of it and when i'm in the house i want my lips to be hydrated so although this is a sleeping mask i use it also during the day because it's not like a it doesn't add it doesn't hold your lips together or anything like that it just feels like a lip balm basically but it's really soothing it's very hydrating um and it, i feel like it makes my lips feel more softer and kissable so does it smell of anything yeah it smells quite rosy and the packaging is so cute nice and pink very girly i love it and i'm just i really want to take care of myself i really want to start doing my resets and stuff like that because i stopped doing it i stopped being that softer girl and i've made a conscious decision to be a softer girl again so this is what i've got i can't wait to use it and then i also got my dior lip addict the lip oil like that but i made a mistake guys i made a mistake i got the wrong color i think i wanted to get the red but i forgot what the red was called so i thought the red was the cherry but it's not this is something completely different because the cherry adds like a pink touch to the lips what i wanted was like the red I know that previously I used a rosewood, but I find with the rosewood is nice, but it doesn't add a nice color to my lips. I feel like it's more, it comes across more clear on my lips. Um, just, it literally gives you like a hint of color. I love it more for what it makes my lips feel like. Um, like I said, I'm a gloss girl. So this, it doesn't feel too glossy. Sometimes lip glosses can be quite like too glossy and slippery. And then you sometimes, I don't know if this happened to you, it's happened to me, where you've applied your lipstick, lip gloss, and then it's like dripping. I find that this doesn't do that. It adds a nice texture, a nice shine to the lips, but it keeps everything together. And when I'm at home, I like using this, especially on holiday. I love to use this. So this is so, so cute. And the packaging is nice and it looks luxurious. Hey. And then I also got the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer like that but this one i got in rose words let me open it so you can see i got this one in rose word like that really really nice color can you see why i don't know why i didn't try anything on to be honest with you this is a really nice um, natural pink color, nude, should I say. I love this. It adds a really nice color to my lips. Sometimes I put a liner and then wear this. It's really nice. Super luxurious also. And the packaging, babe. Can we... Wait, I don't think you saw the packaging. Like, how cute is that? It's so, so cute. I do think for the price... Oh, I think for the price they could have definitely fitted more product in here and the lip oil to be honest so because this is like 30 something pound and so is the other lip oil and then i also got this duo strip glue i searched i used to use the glue like the hair glue on my lashes for the longest time for the longest time i would always use it and then but i didn't like how sometimes it turns the inside of your lashes the strip it turns it gray i didn't like that and sometimes it's hard to come off but and i realized that it made my lashes feel heavy on my eyes so i did some research and a, a few girls on tiktok said this was the best so i bought it previously but it just finished and it was so good it was super light i think sometimes I, I i apply a bit too much when i apply too much i feel like it's hard to take it off and it sticks to my lashes so this time round, i'm going to try and apply just one line without overdoing it to see the difference but to be honest this has served me right and I, I recommend this if you're looking for lash lash glue this is really good so i'm gonna try this out 
I also ran out of my lip scrub so I went ahead I got this uh, pink grapefruit lip scrub by this is Barry M like that it's like a sugar pink lip scrub Ooh, like that I've already used it and it was really good I had one from another brand before it was good I had it for a few years and it was so so good quite a, a big um, c bottle container like this so it lasted me a few years but that I do find that the scrub or sugar itself is quite big and sometimes it's hard for me to work it on my lips where this one it's it's really small like sugars so it's a very small the sugar scrub itself is quite small why does it keep falling out <laughs> and it smells really nice so it's easy to like work on my lips and then lastly i got lastly i got this vitamin c brightening facial sheet mask by beauty pro i've never used this before but i wanted to get it to try to see what it would look like so what would it feel like and what it would do to my face because i love a face mask it's something that i do once a week but again i stopped doing it um because i just wasn't in that do you know what i mean in that mood but now this is something that i want to do I want to practice weekly it just helps me to feel soft it helps me to feel um in my soft girl era like i know the girls on tiktok are saying soft girl era is over like luxury girls is out na 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 but for me nah this is a movement that isn't going anywhere and i think someone even commented here and said oh luxury black girl luxury is out it's over like people have woken up blah 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 and it's like well, what do you mean what do you mean people have woken up black girl luxury is over of course not people would want black luxury girl to come people want luxury black girls to come out because it's never been our thing we were never allowed to have luxury we were never allowed to have luxury even black men have never been allowed to have luxury when they do have luxury it's like you're doing fraud you're doing this you're doing that black when black women enjoy luxury experiences or hold luxury bags like your, your handbag is fake it's like we've never ever been allowed and sometimes even on this channel i see it i'll go shopping because i worked really hard and i want to treat myself or do you know what i mean like whatever and the comments that you'll get it's like i am allowed to enjoy my life i'm allowed to treat myself i uh, i deserve to, to to be treated I, I deserve things of luxury i deserve to have peace and luxury or um softness for me isn't just about luxury goods and going on a holiday no for me it's about like black girl luxury movement means so much to me and it's about me enjoying who I am. It's about me embracing my femininity. It's about me enjoying my home, having things of quality in my home, having clothes, robes of quality, hair of quality, like just having a life of good quality, having a nice mug in my house, spraying a nice fragrance, having a nice bed sheets, like spending my money on these things that make me feel good things that makes me enjoy my life when i decide to go on holidays about creating that experience for myself you know like it's so important why can't black women have these things and then you have and it's always other black women who come and try to attack other black women for wanting better like i can never understand this soft girl is not out black girl black women in luxury can never be out for me i will enjoy luxury until the day god decides to take me and i suggest if you want to join in you join it it's not even a trend sis it's a movement it's a lifetime movement which will never go out of style i don't see anyone telling white girls that luxury is out of style for them i don't see it i don't see it yes i know white girl luxury hasn't been a thing but it's because they are allowed they have always been allowed to have this style movement they've always been allowed we've always associated black uh, white women with class with luxury a hundred percent comment down below please let me know if i'm if i'm talking gibberish because black white women have always been associated with luxury that the, it's their birthright babe it's their birthright we have to fight for everything and when we fight for this we want this who comes and attacks us and tells us that we're not worth it it's the black women our very own black women who will come and tell us that we're not worth it of this we're not worth to have this we're not worth to have that 
we need to stop this and let people enjoy their lives however they please me i'm a soft babe i am a soft woman it's what makes me a dwige. i'm going to embrace the things that makes me a dwige, the things that makes me um feel great the things that makes me be in my element the things that brings out the best of me it's exactly what i'm going to do it's exactly what I'm going to indulge myself in. And I think it's really important as women to have a routine. Like black girl luxury for me is a movement which has allowed me to flourish in my femininity. It's helped me to have a routine. It's helped me to get to know myself, to understand myself, to know that, you know, I am worthy of things of quality. I am worthy of a life of quality, have quality friends. This is all what it means to me. Having quality people in my life, quality friends, a man of quality in my life, having a quality home, quality experiences, quality bed sheets, quality mug, quality, like everything of good quality that's what it means for me and if you think it's out of trend if you think that this movement is rubbish and you don't value it then that's for you sis that's for you that is for you but me i'm going to embrace it and i'm going to enjoy it it's as simple as that it is as simple as that you know and the girls that want to join me on this if you want to grow and flourish in your femininity honey continue watching because that's exactly what we're going to do this channel like black girl luxury isn't just about telling you to go and spend your money like essentially what it's telling you is to be free black girl luxury is telling you black women be free be be who you are flourish in your femininity you know invest in yourself you might want to invest in education you might want to you might want to invest in in i don't know big things properties blah, 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 blah. like invest in those things a car in yourself maybe learn a language maybe invest in your experiences travel the world it, it, um there's so many things, so, so many things. And I'm just so sick of negative people who have no, um, no ambition, who have no, um, who, who don't care. Like, yeah, people who don't really care for much, who don't really care for the kind of lifestyle they live, who don't really care for the kind of homes they live in, who don't really care for having quality, don't spread your negativity onto other people because over here, we enjoy quality. Over here, we want to live a life of luxury, simple 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 so that was everything that i i i um purchased so now guys i want to show you a mini haul i did mention that i am gonna try and do everything in a vlog just because it's easier for me right now until i gain my you know my filming confidence back and stuff like that so so <clears throat> This was kindly, this was kindly gifted by H&M. I chose the pieces which I wanted. So, I'll tell you a little story. When we went to Dubai, I had brought my satin skirt so that I can style it with a top. So I start, I was ironing it so that I can wear it. And babes, why did it get burnt? The iron just burnt, ate the whole thing up. So, I saw that they had a satin skirt on H&M so I got this it's a black satin skirt very similar but to be honest I don't know this is the material of this is slightly different this is not as shiny as I would have wanted it but it looks good and I'm looking forward to styling it I will try it on for you shortly so you can see I don't know how I'm gonna style it just yet but it kind of looks like a velour. Can you see on the screen? I don't know. What size did I get? I got a medium. Hopefully it's going to fit me. As you can see, this is the material. It's black. Midi length. It's just, it doesn't have any shape to it. It's straight. How all satin skirts are. This one though has an elastic band on the waist. Which I think is cool. And then they also sent me, oh, I've got three pieces. I didn't even realize. They also sent me this cardigan, which I love. When I saw this, I had to get it. This is very Parisian chic. Like, just look at this. I have been dying to get my hands on something like this. This is the perfect spring cardigan like i don't even think this camera is doing it any justice like it has these beautiful gold 
um, buttons like that goes all the way across and also here at the top really beautiful um, I will link it down in the description it's quite thick it's quite thick so I think this is going to be really nice for you could wear this with like a dress or trousers jeans skirt really nice you can throw it on top of a dress as well this is so beautiful I love this so so much I hope the medium is going to be okay because sometimes I feel like with cardigans I can go a size smaller but very French very Parisian chic it's giving very Chanel I love it love love this can you see the details beautiful the gold buttons and the gold is not like a cheap gold shiny it's like a really nice strong gold and it looks very expensive so love love this it's a beautiful knit can you see that it's quite thick this is going to be very stunning i need to figure out how i want to wear this but i was thinking even with the satin skirts um but they'll look nice with loafers but i don't like loafers like i don't know i've never been a loafers girl i would never be a loafers girl <laughs> if anything i hate loafers like anyone that knows me knows that i i hate like ballerina loafers i don't like them the only flats i wear are sandals literally sandals is the only flats i wear <laughs> in the summer so i love this and i don't know what this is oh no i do it's a pleated skirt yeah it's a pleated skirt so i hope it is anyway i remember requesting for a cream pleated skirt because i don't know i really want to to dress very feminine this spring oh i wish it was a bit thicker it's a pleated skirt can you see like that and it's cream i just wish it was a little bit thicker because the pleats are even disappearing can you see um okay so it's a slight pleated skirt it's not your traditional pleated skirt do you get it but i really wanted that traditional pleated skirt because i feel like this after i wear it is going to disappear <laughs> the pleats will just disappear um yeah this is really nice I, the idea i had of this was to buy like i really want to buy like a, a corsair you know those skims body corsets or like a, a bralette sort of thing but like a body contour one that you can wear like a swimsuit i was thinking to wear something like that and then to put like my valentinos these ones or my dior heels so like wear my valentinos which i haven't worn in so long even the black ones i haven't worn in so long i need to get the black one fixed though because the black um the this part came off and i need to i need to go and get it fixed so i was thinking or to put my dior heels on and wear they wear them together but i don't know yet i'll see because um the pleats is not as deep as i wanted it to be but nonetheless it's still cute um what else i mean i made an order myself from h&m this is another piece another bag i mean so what i've got here i ordered i don't know what oh black trousers because I feel like this will go really nice with the cardigan. Um, funny enough, I do feel like loafers will look nice with these. But it's not my style at all. Um, so this is really cute. It's a high-waisted... Is it high-waisted? Yeah, it's a slight high-waisted... Um, is it pia Plazo? I forgot what they call this style of trousers. But I'm going to find it and put it um, on the screen. It looks really nice. And I just hope that it's going to fit me right oh size 40 okay great and again i like that it has an elastic band here as well because my shape is really funny like i have skinny legs medium thighs and then my my what's this not hips because i don't have hips my thighs comes how can i press my thighs come up all the way up to my hips right because I don't have big hips. It doesn't come out. But it's round. So it makes it harder for me to... For things to fit me. 
um, and I have some booty so it's quite difficult and I don't have the smallest waist do you know what I mean so I'm just hoping that this trousers will fit me but it looks really good the quality is nice I feel like every woman needs a nice trousers like this super super easy can go with anything and this is great for the office as well so as you can see it's just a classic tailored black trousers that's it really really nice because it's still cold you can even still wear this with like a turtleneck as well and i'm gonna try them on for you after and then i also like nothing screams at spring more than a a, a cold you know what i mean so i got this cold set it comes with a skirt like this i love things like this because it's just so easy i have a dress to this and a trousers to this as well so this is the cold skirt like that and i got it in a size medium also it's like a midi yeah it's a midi skirt it comes with a matching top and i've got the matching top as well because i think it's cute you can wear it separately you could wear it together so this is the matching top i think this is really cute you could wear this even with the black trouser i think that would look really nice or with the skirt from before even the satin skirt this would look nice and just maybe throw a belt at the top so really cute it has a v-neck like so really really nice very simple very easy um so i'm really looking forward to trying this on what else did i get then i also got this tracksuit because i'm liking like tracksuit trousers these days it's just so easy especially for like running errands i've never i never used to be a tracksuit girl but lately like a smart tracksuit though lately i'm loving like a, a smart tracksuit um i remember zara had something like this a few years back and it was just sold out i remember seeing it on melissa um so i got this it's hey what h and a move okay so i got this um in a size medium also i think but i have a feeling i should have got an s because things like this tend to fit quite big on me but i just like how smart and casual it looks um yeah it's like a smart i don't know if it's if smart is the right word to use like it doesn't have that closed up ankle do you know what i mean so for me this is like a smart tracksuit you know so this is really cute i could wear it with a jumper or i could wear it with the top that i just showed you even with the cardigan that i just showed you i could wear it with this where else could i wear it with or even just a t-shirt and then run some errands when you're traveling i think this is really good as you can see it's a very nice rich cream color i really like it the camera is not even doing it any justice baby it just looks white but it's like really rich cream i love it so much again it has an elastic band on the waist has two pockets on the side i just love things like this and this is high-waisted as well so it's gonna fit like here really cute imagine like even with a bodysuit in the summer like so cute i love stuff like this and then i actually got this matching um not matching but like matching color matching colored top because i wanted to see what it was going to look like together so and like I, I just i don't know i'm really liking since doing the girls like i'm like i'm loving going braless and wearing things like this because this is thick enough you're not going to be seeing nipples or anything like that so i can't wait to try this on i hope it's gonna look nice even with the skirt i feel like simple things like this can really take your outfit to the next level look really cute really clean like that kind of like old money i guess vibe i was watching a podcast the other day and the girl there was like she doesn't like the term old money she likes there was another word that she used and i and i much more prefer it um oh my god what was it but if i if i do i'll write it down here but i much more prefer that and i was like yeah that's my vibe i love it and then my good friends over at carrot Millen sent me this lovely blazer caramelin i chose this blazer because all my cream blazers have ruined my makeup have ruined it 
now when i wear a white blazer i'm not applying makeup to my neck because it just ruins your blazers ladies so i'm going to try my best to not wear less makeup when i'm doing when i'm wearing a white blazer so this blazer is like an asymmetric tailored classic shape blazer and again i got this because it's a classic nothing screams statement nothing screams a capsule more than a blazer i will do a capsule wardrobe essentials i think next week for spring and this definitely has to make the top of the list because i love a good blazer this looks expensive because it is it feels expensive has a nice shoulder paddings and it kind of goes across the body do you see that it does it's not a double breasted it's a double breasted but not in a double breasted form <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense so we've got like a button inside and we have another one which goes over hey okay so this is the outfit on this is the satin skirt now i don't know if i would wear it this way and this is the h m um tank top that i was telling you but this is the vision i had in my head I, I, like i mentioned before that wearing this together was something that i was also um thinking about so maybe something like this i don't know it's looking a bit schoolgirlish right now so i don't know <laughs> If this is something that I want to wear together um, but I definitely like the skirt but the material is not as soft like it's soft the material is soft it feels really really soft it looks good um, so the skirt is fine but I just don't think that I would wear it together with this top because what I was thinking let me see if I have a belt here I was thinking that like this is the first thing that I just saw I was thinking to put like a belt on the on the waist like that but I don't know if this look is going to work for me no I don't like it I don't like this look on me I think the satin skirt will have to be worn with something completely different this is given very school yeah it's very school girl let me try oh yeah let me put the cardigan on top just so that we can get the vibe because i'm not styling it today i will come back to show you like spring outfit ideas this is just what's new in my wardrobe and then i'll do like a spring capsule wardrobe and hopefully show you a few spring outfit ideas that i'm liking but i just need to gather my thoughts uh and my ideas to what what's the vibe for this spring because i know that the vibe is going to be quite clean gal um you know feminine definitely feminine i want to really tap into my femininity a lot more i feel like i'm a very feminine woman i really am but i feel like i could be more feminine like i know kati tells me adriz like i don't know how feminine you want to be because you are the most feminine woman i know like she says this to me all the time she's like you're the most feminine woman i know so i don't know how feminine you want to be but i just want to be as feminine as as possible like i want to even change my walk i feel like you know in england everyone just in england everyone's always in a rush so we're always rushing to get somewhere we're always everyone walks like a robot and i feel like so that because of that i've adapted like this very <laughs> fast walk i just want to take my time when i walk and walk like a lady you know like in congo yeah when i went to congo babe i kid you not the women in congo could walk for days and when they walk no one's rushing anywhere even when they lay they take their time they are strutting like they're flirting with it the girls are so soft like it's like it's like they have no waist when the girls in congo are walking it's like they have no waist they literally it's like they're doing a catwalk 
and if you look at them they're gonna look at you like what is your problem me i'm here minding my business and walking strutting to my to, to wherever i'm going and that's the kind of vibe that's the energy i need <laughs> So anyway, this cardigan, like I thought, is gorgeous. Um, do we like it together though? That, I don't know. I feel like with jeans, this will look really nice. Yeah, very Parisian chic with jeans. So the size is perfect. If I was to wear my, my, um, my Dior pumps with it, I feel like there's something about black and white right now that's giving me like... It's just giving me schoolgirl. But this is very elegant. This I like. I like this. I don't know if it's maybe because I'm not wearing a bra. Maybe because I'm not wearing a bra. I don't know. But I, do we like the cardigan though? I love the cardigan. I think this is really nice. I would style it completely different. No? Yeah, completely different. Um, but yeah, this is definitely staying love love this cardi i just need to find a way to style it definitely not with this okay let me take this off i think now oh. but it's kind of hard to unbutton it you know oh is, oh am i bugging out i think it's me oh no i was doing it wrong next outfit is the uh, I was going to say Corsair. What is this? Uh, the cold. So, like I mentioned, it's got a deep V colour. It's quite fitted around the arms. I like this. This is cute. I feel like you can't go wrong with things like this because it's just so easy. It's so simple. Um, how would I? I just tucked it inside because I feel like when it was out, let me show you, it was just like that. And that's a bit boring i feel like when it's tucked in when it's tucked in is better this is so nice it's so simple i feel like the skirt i could have got an s this is a medium i feel like an s would have been better because it's quite gappy can you see that it's quite gappy um i like this but Again, I don't know if a belt would make sense here. Let's try. Because it's something that's supposed to be so simple. No, I don't like that. It's so simple. Like, oh, can I? I'm trying to look at the mirror here. So I can know what to do. I don't know. Or could I do something like this? How does that look? I think I prefer it tucked in because it's just clean. I prefer it tucked in. It's much cleaner like that. Like something like this, I could just even wear with flats. Yeah, I definitely need a bigger size. Look at that. I mean, smaller size. This could be worn with like flats and then just throw, I don't know, throw some shades. I'll just get a random shade. Throw some shades. Show some shades. <laughs> throw some shades on. And I feel like if you want to go classic, you could also go classic. Um, these Tom Fours are quite classic. So we could do something like this. That's cute. What do we think? Gosh, my battery is already flashing. I'm trying on the, uh, this is the tracksuit. Um, to be honest, it's nice. I like it. It's simple. It's really, really simple. What do you think? This is simple. Like, imagine traveling. This is like perfect. This is the perfect travel fit. Like, just throw this on. I've been buying quite a few from Zara, but the quality, I think this is a bit lighter. How can I say? This is, this material is more like, it feels like a tracksuit material. The one from Zara feels like loungewear. Right? It feels like that. But this is really cute. Really simple. Like, it's giving rich throw my cartier and you shine i love it Ooh, heish this is cute i like that like do you know what i mean like just simple fit babe like just a little clutch this is my uh wallet on the chain we can even take out the chain 
this is from Prada I love this I've had it for so long I don't know if have I ever <laughs> I've never worn it this way because it's too short no I think it's supposed to be a bit longer than this yeah there we go it's supposed to be a bit longer but to be honest I've never worn it like that have I worn it like this before maybe I don't know I have a thing for I hate it when men wear like their little side bags this way so I try not to wear my bags this way but sometimes you have to do you know what I mean because I wouldn't feel safe to walk around with this bag like just on my shoulder unless I'm on holiday do you know what I mean but a lot of the times I just hold it like that but you, you see what I mean babe just simple simple easy you know like just it just looks rich it's very simple i love this look love it okay see i feel like i appreciate the top i appreciate this top more with this trousers i feel like it looks better compared to the skirt so i think i don't i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the skirt then because i just i didn't get that vibe where well, this is cute it's quite masculine this look but it's also quite feminine i just i love this this is really cute okay so i'm gonna try on the the pleated skirt so you can see the vibe but yeah what do you guys think here's the pleated skirt on as you can see you can wear it anyhow you want if you want it super high-waisted you can if you want to wear it mid waist you can also um to be honest even this top this top and this skirt it's not actually a bad vibe i'm just thinking though if i tuck it in just let me see you know what i quite like that you know i quite like that again it's simple it's not the idea i had in my head for it but i think it works it works the skirt is a little bit see-through like i said a little bit thinner than i expected i guess the the fabric i was thinking of was was probably for winter that's really the fabric i was thinking of but i think this is definitely cute i like it I don't know i just find these to be very feminine very soft um i'll wear them with my sandals maybe could i throw a hat on this let me see let me just check what we could do maybe i could throw on this hat for the vibes i don't want to mess up my hair so i'll just how does that look do you know what it's not bad i wish i could i don't want to mess up my hair guys okay let's try it like this honestly this hat is such a good find from asos to think i got this from like for like six pounds it's a joke it just looks so expensive it's giving tennis this look is giving tennis what about the gucci hat would it look nice together let me see because i just want that certain je ne sais quoi you know I just don't want to mess up my hair though. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my hair. I just wonder. Okay, this looks weird. I look like my dad here. <laughs> okay, let me push it back. No, I don't like it together. This is not cute. But do you guys get the vibe? Do you get what I'm trying to create here? I just wanted that. <laughs> no, it doesn't go. It doesn't go with this. Guys, I'm starving. Trousers are on. They're too small. They're too small. Like, size, most of my trousers are a size 40, which is a UK 12. I don't understand. I don't know if it's me or if the stores have just... Don't even know what a UK size 12 is anymore. Like, it wouldn't even... Unless I've gained weight around here. Because it's not even closing. But this would have been such a nice trousers to wear with a blazer because that's what i wanted to show you it looks really good the length looks good the quality looks good it would have fitted amazingly and i can tell that it was supposed to be high-waisted 
but that's a flop this has to go back then let me just try it on the blazer to show you what it's supposed to look like but I have great outfit ideas for this blazer I just hope that it fits me oh hush lordy what is happening I really hope this fits eesh guys no this is a bit small as well oh my goodness how is, have I gained weight I mean no what is happening please what is actually happening to me let me just close it like this so you can see what is actually happening because I don't understand there's no way I've gained that much weight because the size the black caramelian blazer the backless one is a size 12 unless the fitting of this is different oh oh my days this is gonna have to get sent back I had great ideas for this blazer you know I love it I love this blazer I love it but yeesh uh, 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 uh. Hey, I can't even hug people. Imagine coming. Oh, hi, it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, but hey, babes. Hey, <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Oh, but can you see the vibes? Like, it's asymmetric. It goes this part is short, this is longer, goes across, and it's just supposed to fit like oh, black buttons shoulder padding i love how thick this is so so thick but anyway babes that was all for me to share today in this vlog i hope you have enjoyed it with my trousers that does not fit the blazer which does not fit what a joke what a joke are you kidding me but on the other note though my skin is glowing and I'm so happy that I've got my mojo back. My skin is glowing. We thank God, honestly. I give God all the praise and all the glory because it's by his grace, guys. Mm, it's by God's grace. But yeah, my babes, thank you for watching. Why is the angle like this? Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this far and you have enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you're a new subscriber, make sure to comment down below and say hey. If you're coming back, then you know it's a real, I love you guys. Comment down below also, check in with your girl. I hope you guys are all doing well and having a fabulous spring, although spring hasn't started yet in the UK. Today seems nice though. The weather is nice. It's really like shining. The sun's about to set um so yeah that's great but next time i have more things to show you more beauty products to show you i'm about to go out and i don't know what fragrance i'm gonna wear but again i want something soft i want something sexy so i don't know should we do givenchy i do feel like i've been loving the house of givenchy these days um a lot like a lot maybe i might do udis Pahan. i don't know i might do that I might do her. I haven't done her in a long time. One of my faves. One of my faves. Love this. I think I might. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for her. All right, my babes. Love you lots. Mwah. See you in the next video. Bye.